Hey everyone, Sky here to discuss The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2, starring Jennifer Lawrence, Josh Hutcherson, Liam Hemsworth, Woody Harrelson, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Elizabeth Banks, and Julianne Moore, and directed by Francis Lawrence. Now, because of this irritating movie I went through last week, let's see if it's just as bad this time. Let's get into it. We open with Katniss Everdeen, returned by Jennifer Lawrence, taking off her neck bracelet, and we see the neck looking pretty bruised, and she tries to talk, and it sounds like she's choking, and Pita Malark, returned by Josh Hutcherson, is being interrogated by Katniss's sister Prim, and he says not to trust her, and this sequence was devastating to watch. Katniss tells Alma Coyne, returned by Julianne Moore, aka the president of District 13, that she wants to go to District 2 to rebel against the Capitol. And she goes there with Gail, returned by Liam Hemsworth, and Hamish Abernathy, returned by Woody Harrelson. And they arrive and get approval of the rebellion, or no, take that back. And they get to District 2, and a man with a gun shoots Katniss as she wears a bulletproof costume. And she gets up and get and District 2 doesn't join the rebellion, which felt... Which feels realistic in my opinion. Katniss gets out of the hospital bed and visits Peta, and he's led to believe everything coming out of her mouth is a lie. And I thought this is going to turn out so badly when I get to the ending Finnick O'Dare Finnick gets married and Katniss talks with Johanna played, returned by Jennifer M Jenna Malone, excuse me. And Katniss dances and Prim and two things about these scenes. One, it was all bad acting by the actors, and two, when the camera moves around in these scenes, it gave me a bit of a headache. And hell, this whole movie gave me a headache. What am I talking about? Katniss plans on killing President Snow, returned by Donald Sutherland, and she not, she's not alone. She's got Gail, Finnick, camera crew, new crew, Mahershala Ali, and later on, reluctantly, Peta, and even though I've read the books, I was scared to think Peta was going around too to kill Katniss at some point in the movie, which was a good edge of your edge of your seat points. The rebellion go through trap after trap, and Mahershala Ali gets killed, and oil comes from the buildings, and the effects in these scenes look pretty bad. It's all it's like every '90s special effects movie bad. This is a long movie at two hours and fifteen minutes, and it drags. And it's dragging for me quite a bit. As I'm not caring for any of these rebellion rebels whatsoever. Hell, Star Wars can do a rebellion versus Empire story better, much better than this. President Snow is sick, coughing up blood, and I don't really give a crap. I did, however, enjoy the game of real or unreal. I thought that was clever and fun. The Rebellion gets attacked by some creature out of a video game that looked like a Resident Evil video game thing. I, I, I couldn't tell you, because I never play video games too much. And Finnick is killed, and maybe people cared about it, but not me at this point. Peter returns to loving Katniss, which was very unrealistic and stupid. Katniss and Gale go to the home of President Snow, while Peta and the camera crew, who are the only ones left, Stay behind with Tigris, and as they go to the house, the Capitol gets attacked by District 13, and Gail gets captured by Capitol officers, and they get blown to bits, and Prim and other kids get killed thanks to the District 13, and it was unexpected, but at the same time, what the hell is the point of saving Prim in this entire series as she gets killed anyways? And that upsets me, to say in both the books, and in these movies. It was just very preposterous. Katniss visits President Snow as she learns it wasn't Snow who killed Prim. It was coined, but Katniss is too stupid to find out until a little later on, which was preposterous. Gale visits Katniss, and he's apparently a traitor. And Katniss, as well as the other victors who's are, who are alive... And Coin announces the Hunger Games to the Capitol's children, and six out of eight victors say yes, which, how unrealistic. Come on, that's not the way it's supposed to work. 
Katniss prepares to kill Snow, but who does she kill instead? Drum roll, please. Coin. Coin. Because now she's realizing Coin killed Prim, and Snow has the maniacal laugh until the crowd kills Snow, and Hamish comes in and reads her a letter from Plutarch, and honestly, it's because of Philip Seymour Hoffman's death, right? I just want to clarify this right off the bat. Which goes on a little too long. Katniss goes back home to District 12, and she wants to throw the cat out, but she tries to tell the cat Prim is not here anymore, and honestly, I felt bad for the cat as she yells at it, but it decides to hug the cat, but she decides to hug the cat. The movie ends with Katniss and Peeta married with children, and I don't remember that from the book. And it pissed me off as the, the looks on their faces and their children's faces looked so bad. It bugged me. It bugged the crap out of me. Like, I just can't, I can't look at them any bit different. Now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 4.7 out of 10. There were some things I enjoyed and a lot of things I didn't like in this movie. For example, the effects looked very bad. And the ending climax pissed me off right off the bat. And I don't care for the characters. And I don't care for this movie. So thank you guys for joining me for The Hunger Games. I'm sorry that it didn't turn out the way you wanted. But until then, may the odds be ever in your favor.